What's up, squad? It's your boy Trey, aka Daddy C. Thank you for dropping and stopping by the channel today. Um, if it's your first time here, do me a quick favor, hit that notification bell down below so you can stay on top of our content as we drop it. And if you've been here rocking with us, we appreciate all the love and support of our content. So, all right, now that's out of the way, y'all. Your boy's back in the building. It's been a little break. Been, uh, <coughs> excuse me, that time of the year. Been kind of getting through a little bit of a flu bug going through my house. You know, it's the winter time, holidays. <laughs> It's bound to happen, right? Um, yeah, my daughter started first, then got to me, and you know, hopefully now I'm not passing to the wife. But in any event, back in the lab, wanted to get in here. This this end of the year, 2023. Whew, it's been busy. It's been a whirlwind. Um, I'm tired, man. I don't know about y'all, but it's just been like crazy, crazy drops. We've been blessed by the sneaker guys. Been hitting on a lot of good, good stuff. Um, Y'all been tuning into the videos that we have dropped recently. Have some major W's. Got a lot more things on the way. Um, got some some shoes that are dropping that are, that are delivering in the next day or so. And um, you know, want to do some also for the year and wrap up. Talk about our top ten pickups of the year. Talk about sneaker of the year. Like you know, that's all over the place right now, right? Everybody's got their list. So definitely got to chime in with that. But before we do, we got to cover some shoes and some things that. Um, we haven't had a chance to do yet. Some things that have been here for a while, but just because of workload and things or whatever, not making excuses, we're going to get them all out regardless. So today we are talking about a shoe that um, just really kind of got passed on by a lot of people. And a year ago, this shoe would have sold out instantly. Um, you know, it's a Jordan 4, which of course, after the, the crazy dunk craze of, you know, COVID era 2020, 2021, you know, the Jordan 4 took off and you couldn't even, you know, you couldn't smell a Jordan 4. Like in two seconds, they were gone. Resell was crazy. And now that that's tapered off, you know, we know what sneaker market is looking like right now. Um, it's a great time. You know, it was a great time where you could walk in the store. I was just in Foot Locker and the finish line yesterday. Um, Jordan's on the shelf, man, that you can just walk in and pick up. Um, I didn't see Jordan 11s, but I saw some 4s, I saw some 3s. Um, just just pairs, man. So if you you know you're out here and you need a pair of kicks, want to get a pair of kicks, you don't have to rush. You can go to the store, try them more, pick them up. It's crazy. Who who'd have thought it? So today we are talking about the Air Jordan Four new addition to the Craft line, the Craft series, and it is the Olive colorway. Uh, we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna bring the box in here. You know what the shoe looks like if you haven't seen it already. The box, of course, they're giving you that Jordan 4 kind of cement splatter, you know, all over the box. And you've got a hinge lid on this box. Um, you got that olive color with the more cream, creamy jump man on, top, on the outside and white on the flight lettering to kind of match with the shoe inside your basic cement print paper. And that's it. And this is the Air Jordan 4 Retro SE Craft medium olive and pale vanilla. So if we can see that in the label, all right? And again, we don't wear boxes. So let's talk about this shoe. Now, this shoe, you know, when I first saw images of it, I was like, man, this shoe is pretty dope. I like the coloring of it. It is all over, you're getting this kind of olive and it's almost like a military green to me, right? Um, throughout, you know, around the shoe. I love the craft because they do give you different textures and material. So it's not just one suede or one leather or anything like that. But, and then they did something different, right? With the Craft Series. Um, they did the, the lighter version of this earlier this year, um, but there's no mesh, right? It's just pressed suede with like kind of, kind of a pattern on it that looks like the mesh panels on the shoe itself um, all over, you know, where the cage would be and along the tongue. But you've got nice suede. This is almost like a new buck here. Suede around the, the, the toe box area. Um, the side panels, you've got more new buck in that olive. You got black. It's kind of more like a crackle on the wings on the side. And then where your eye stays are here, the crowns, they're like a, a rubber. Almost kind of like the Jordan 4 SB a little bit. I mean, they're not quite as soft and flimsy as that one. They're a little more rigid, but they are more like a rubber. And then you've got the rubber on the actual heel tab. And you got the, the pale vanilla Jumpman. 
And then also on the tongue, you got that nice suede as well with the flight logo and the pale vanilla jump man on that one, right? And then around the midsole, you got, again, that pale vanilla. It's like a lot of bright white. This is more sail. I guess this is a little lighter than a pale vanilla. So this is more like a sail. You got clear Nike Air unit in the heel. And then on the, down on the outsole and around that side, you got black and then this gray, but you also have that pale vanilla little pod on the bottom of the heel, uh, bottom of the sole of the shoe. But overall, man, I think it's a dope color. I mean, this is something, you yeah, obviously can wear this with jeans, cargos, anything like that. You're getting that military vibe, outdoorsy vibe. <coughs> Excuse me. Still fighting this thing, man. But military outdoorsy vibe. And, you know, I've heard people say this, you know, calling this the, the, the poor man or the broke man's undefeated for, where it's not. I mean, it's totally different, undefeated, you know, barely, you know, released. And that's uh, untouchable for most people. You're looking at twenty something thousand dollars or whatever for that shoe. But I thought about actually getting this custom and, and getting this piece painted because it is it would be more like the undefeated because that section is painted black on the undefeated four and maybe throwing some orange laces in there. But I don't know. I don't know what y'all think of these. I was able to get these at a steal. Um, you know, thanks to thanks to buddies. My guy Tavius Paradise. Good looking. Um, but was able to take advantage of a military discount on these and got these for just around, around about 170 bucks um, Right after you know, right after the, the initial release. So that was a steal and a half um, And they're out here. I think on sale a, a lot of places um, If you can get them, I mean they're well under retail grab them I think it's a staple and I think you know a year from now You'll be glad you caught these, you know, a lot of people passing on stuff and I know that's holiday 2023 has been insane because we've had like in the month of december my buddy said it was like i think 40 drops over 40 drops which is a lot of sneakers not that you're gonna buy all 40 but it's a lot to just be inundated so if you miss one or you pass on something you know it kind of gets lost in the shuffle it's just behind you you keep it moving six months later you're like oh yeah i forgot about those but got these i'm a jordan 4 guy jordan 4 is my jam so if you see the t-shirt 1989 that's a jordan 4 t from uh, since, since Apparel, my boy uh, Wear Testers, Chris, and uh, got that one. Got the gray ones from earlier this year as well, which I do like a lot. Um, they're totally, I mean, it's the same makeup, same exact makeup. But again, I'm a Jordan 4 kind of guy, and I think these are just a nice welcome addition. You know, totally different, but uh, just different. Nice colorway, man, like something nice something cool, you know, to put on with a different outfit. Um, but these again, you know, staple in my collection and similar also, so I'll show you these, to, I mean, not the same, but same vein or family, right? The Patchwork 3s. So I don't know if y'all are familiar with those, how you feel about those, but these are one of my favorite pickups and these were 2022, I believe. No, or maybe 2021. I really, really like these. I know a lot of people passed on them. Um, I, you know, initially was like, I don't know about those, but I love the materials that they changed them up all over the place with different patterns, different material. And then overall you're getting this camouflage vibe on the shoe, but kind of the same family as these olive fours, you know, the green earth tones, same thing in mean, the midsole. You're getting to you know see the similarities there right very similar um but anyway i like this family of colors um the earth tones is where it's at you know when the weather's rough the darker fall those types of things it's something dope to rock so i don't know if it's on your list to, to circle back at some point next year i'd say do it if you see them on sale you can get, catch a deal grab them uh, but it's a pair i want to make sure we cover it before the end of the year because these did drop in 2023 and again, excited I got them in the collection. Let me know where you rate them. Um, as far as myself, um, again, I'm a Jordan 4 guy. I love the colors, I love the execution and the way this all ties in. It's very different, but similar. It all ties in together. I can give these, you know, 8.5, 8.5 for sure. Um, I think they did a good job. You got black, you got olive, dark green. Where can you go wrong there? So let me know what you think. 
I'll see y'all on the next one. We got a lot coming, so stay tuned, stay locked. Make sure you hit that notification bell, sub to the channel, hit me on IG at Real Daddy Seed, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.